Hey yo, my brothers, what's up? Hope everyone, everyone's doing well. It's eating shave here with me, Mendez Shaves El Chingon. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing well. God bless you all. I really appreciate everybody being here, watching my channel, watching my uh, video. Thank you. Going to be doing something epic today. I'm going to be shaving off the beard. <laughs> I got about a month and a half growth, almost two. A beer growth and I just can't take it no more so it's coming off <laughs> the face is uh, nice and nice nice and hydrated ready to go for the shave or just wash my face I know I'm gonna regret it but oh well it's just hair I'll grow back someday <laughs> I was gonna originally shave it off when I was gonna go um, when I'm planning to go to my uh, West Shaver brother from uh, Denver, Colorado, guys hold this. I told him I was supposed to go over there at the end of the month, towards uh, the end of the month in November to shave this off, but I'm shaving it off now. But I'll still shave it off. I'll still shave whatever I got over there too. So I'm planning to do a video over there with him as well. Today's shave will feature Astro Traveler from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. Douglas, he's on the uh, label there. And if you guys don't know who this is, uh, that's uh, Timmy Two Shoes, uh, Tim Tol Tolak. He has a he has a YouTube channel. He also does a p podcast as well. But Tim, he has great setup in his uh, shave videos. He does great videos as well. I'm gonna be putting down a description down below so you guys get to know him and. Uh, See his awesome setup that he has in his uh, videos. He has a microphone and he, he does it really professional. And his videos are great. He's really knowledgeable. Check him out, please. <laughs> but yeah, this is a uh, little bit about the label. I believe they're traveling. Douglas Smythe and uh, Tim Tolak. Give me a second. As for the art label, imagine if you will myself two Timmy Two Shoes Timmy Timmy Two Shaves, excuse me. The Shave in Tolson. Joy riding around in a spit airship that abort aborns the atomic label. Somewhere along our journey we came under attack by very stealthy foo fighters as well. Mm. It wasn't a smooth landing, but we did smell awesome all the while. Yeah, so I guess they got attacked by someone and uh, their airship, I guess, it uh, crashed down there and they, they managed to escape. And there you see that, you know, they're trying to escape the fire there, whatever they're uh, running for from. <laughs> but yeah, this is an awesome label right here. I got this at the SoCal meetup in Chula Vista. This is the only set that I got from Douglas there. And let me tell you guys, when I was there at his booth, I was uh, smelling all his soaps there, the newer ones he has. And uh, the label just, it was awesome. You know, I had to grab it and smell it. And as soon as I grabbed it, I was like, I got to get this. This is a very unique scent. This is in the, uh, in the Formula CK6, newer base from Douglas Smythe and Fran at Phoenix Honors and Recruitments. Which is a luxury base in my opinion. It smells great. I had to have it as soon as I smelled it. Very unique scent. The scent note, scent note profile is bergamot, grapefruit, spiced orange, zest, black pepper, nutmeg, saffron, oak wood, vetiver, and tobacco. Yeah, and I get, it's like a sweet scent. That's what I get from the uh, puck itself. But I believe this, the star note of the scent here is the saffron, which I've never smelled before. But I've heard good, good things about saffron. But the scent note is what stands out in the scent here. 
Oh, that's what it says under uh, Douglas' description on his uh, page. But I can smell the uh, the, the orange off of here. <sighs> Spicy. <sighs> Very nice sweet scent. <laughs> that's what I get from it. It's an awesome scent, and I like it a lot. That's why I bought it. I got my brush here. So can my Mendes, El Chingon Shades mug. Here from Rafa at Chicano Designs. Awesome mug here. My brush soaking in my mug is my Brad Sears Shea Works brush. Forgot what they call this handle here. I didn't look it up before I uh, uh before I did the video. But this is a chubby inspired handle. It's a uh, pretty girthy in uh, girth. It's a chubby. <laughs> and chubby inspired. And this has a, uh, I believe a 26 millimeter select. Is what he calls his, uh, his, his hair for his website. The, the, the two band select. Which is a uh, hybrid knot. It has a, uh, this is a, a fan. But it's a hybrid. Which has like, uh, I believe, bulb is where a bulb and fan in one. And it has really nice hair. The hair on this is, is really, really fine. Very luxurious feeling. When I use it, it feels like a pillow on my face. This is a soap here. Brand new puck. I have not used it. The meetup was uh, quite a while ago. Today's November. It was on October 19th, the meetup. So I haven't used it yet. It's almost been a month. But let me shave this on um, off camera and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can, okay? Just to shave to, just to save a little bit of time for the video. I'll be back. Alright guys, I got all this awesome proto lather from my on my fingers. From the puck. This scent, when I'm lathering it off the brush, it stands out. It's pretty stout. Strong smell, smell from the puck. That's what I get from it when I was lathering in it. Lathering it. I was going to do the shave video in the morning, but I just decided to knock it out tonight. So like that, I don't have to shave in a rush in the morning. But here's my load here. Hope that's enough. If not, I'll go back to, to the tub. Stuff is slick. Mega slick. All right, let's start the ladder. I'm gonna be doing this in parts. The uh, I'm not gonna be lathering my whole face just in parts so the lather won't dry up. So bear with me, please. Shearing the beard off, so it's gonna take a while. Hopefully, it's not that long. <laughs> gotta get it on in the beard. And some more water. So the soap base can take it. It's awesome. This is an awesome brush here. I don't really use it a lot. I gotta use it more. Very luxurious feeling. It's the only Brad Sears brush I have in my den. And I don't think I plan on buying any more brushes, guys. Not right now. I got too much gear in my in my den and Soaps as well. I don't plan on buying any more this year. Got a lot of beer growth there. If you guys can see that. <laughs> you guys see the knots really well hydrated. So I don't have to add more water. 
cake still. I loaded maybe 20 seconds, 20, 22 seconds. And I got something special here. New straight razor. <laughs> this is from my uh, Abraham v v Viela from uh, West Coast Shaving. I also met him at uh, the SoCal meetup in uh, Chula Vista. Awesome brother. Let me put him down a picture in the, in the beginning of the video so you guys can see Abraham. I took a picture with him. All right, let's start the shave. <laughs> let's get rid of this beard. I strapped it, so it's freshly strapped. But this is a waiting butcher, guys. This is a vintage, the celebrated waiting butcher. Really nice mirror finish to it. This is an A8 hollow ground razor. Horn scales. The little the pins here are off, off centered here, in the end, just just slightly. You can't really tell, but. Just slightly, you can see the bottom one there's off. But it's okay, it's still a beautiful razor. In great shape, maculate shape. <laughs> Thanks to Abraham. Thank you, brother. First time shaving with it, so. But it shaves nice. I shaved with it before. I mean, second time using it, excuse me. I did a uh, touch up pass this week. Because you guys, you guys can see it's cutting. There's a really nice edge to it. <laughs> a lot of beard growth there. And I'm not planning to uh, put this down my sink because I don't want it to clog up my uh, sink here. So I got a bowl. I'm going to be putting everything right here. A lot of beer growth. <laughs> what a best way to shave the beard off with the straight. I'm telling you guys. If you guys haven't tried it, I suggest you do. A lot of beer growth. <laughs> Too much. Almost two months worth. It's gross. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it is. It's just tackling that beard off. You guys could see that. <sighs> wow. I'll be doing a two pass shave tonight. Very smooth shaver. I fell in love with this razor when I first shaved with it. Look at that, guys. <laughs> it's cutting. Look at that. Yeah, I absolutely fell in love with this vintage uh, waiting butcher. I always wanted one in my den. I finally got one thanks to Abraham. I would always show pictures to uh, Guy Solis to uh, see whatever I want, whenever I wanted wanted to buy a blade, if, if it would be you know a good blade to buy. Never got around it though because on eBay you have to uh, bid. You have to bid for the razor and you have to be the winner of the winning bid. And if you don't get the winning bid, you don't get the razor. So 
There's a lot of times that I bid on the razor and lost because I didn't bid high enough. Shame with a little bit of residual left over on my cheeks. Still cutting, still gliding, razor still gliding. My beard growth is it's it's like bob wire guys. That's why it's taking a little bit to uh, shave it off. Especially in this area here. Tackling's beer off right off though with these. Let me rub some lather, some of this lather inside uh, the beard. Well, it feels good to have a clean shaven face again. I got a lot of hair everywhere here in the sink. Got to clean up big time. You wet my brush here. Let's get the other side done. Just showing you guys that the blade is awesome. It's cutting. It's doing its job. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Getting all this hair growth off. With no issue at all. Got a couple weepers there. I love these bigger blades. That's why I had to get me this razor. When Abraham was driving me back home, he was mentioning to me that uh, he had a stray razor that he was selling. And it was this one that he was talking about. 
He was telling me that uh, he was selling it and that, hold on, give me a second. That he had it that he that he would give me a great discount if I wanted to buy it. And I told him to uh as soon as he got home from dropping me off, he had like a I don't know, he, I believe he lives in Orange County area. So he had to drive back home in traffic because it was it was rush hour traffic at that time. Oh, that feels so good. Get all that beard off. <laughs> what do you guys think? You like you guys like the mustache or no? Do I look good with the mustache? I never I've never had the only the mustache. I've never let it like that. I'm just showing you guys though. And a couple guys on my subscribers say that you know I would look good with the mustache. That feels awesome. <laughs> Get all that beard off. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but my face is clean. <laughs> Wiping off my brush here because it got lather on it. I don't want to drop this brush. Not this one. The knot's really well hydrated, so there's no need for me to add more water to the, the lather. You guys can see that. It has a beautiful shine to it. Wiping off my blade. Pass two against the grain going up. Very smooth. Truly miss shaving my my face with the straight. It's been a while. cutting Looking good for me. Smooth like butter. 
Seriously, guys, that feels so good. This blade's awesome. Whoever I don't know who honed this blade, but whoever honed this blade did an awesome job. What do you guys think? Should I leave it? <laughs> Gotta fix that cyber in there. It's a little too long. shape it up right here looks good for me oh yeah awesome shave right there <laughs> got rid of the beard the video is going to be cutting off soon guys so I'll be back in uh I'll uh, make room for it and do the uh, next videotaping. <laughs> I just got so many videos of Junior, you know, I don't want to erase them, so. I just did my mail call video too and that's taking up space so I gotta delete that and as soon as I delete that I'll be back so I'll be back guys okay I promise you I'll finish the shave guys I'm back I told you I'll be back <laughs> just get rid of this mustache we're gonna start here first Tough. My beard is tough. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm skipping. Apologize for that. Took it right off. You, you know what I mean. I got coarse hair. My hair is coarse. 
kind of happens when I let the beard grow. Apologize, guys. I'm sorry. I'm seeing the video. I don't know why it's doing that. I apologize. Sorry about that. I'm seeing it from my end and it's choppy. over it one more time That for me is baby butt smooth. <laughs> Took a month and a half, almost two, with the beard growth right off. That feels great. Wow, baby butt smooth. <laughs> gone 10 years younger <laughs> what a great shave so if you guys think that blade is tuggy is not it's just my beard growth like I was mentioning I bob wire hair <laughs> it's very thick thank you guys very much I really appreciate you guys joining me for the shave I had to shave the beard off. I know I might regret it later, but it's okay. Like I was mentioning earlier, it's just hair. <laughs> Today's shave was with Astro Traveler from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Lovely scent, great formula. I highly recommend this scent right here. It's very unique. I'm telling you, when I picked it up and smelled it, I had to have it. Thank you, Doug. If you ever get to see this, I appreciate you, brother, for all you do. You and Fran are awesome. Great scent there. Lather my lather with my uh, Brad Sears Badger. Select Badger, 26 millimeter. Very really, not really nice knot here, and uh, the handle's awesome too. Really grippy. It's an awesome brush. From the North Maryland Northern Shore, handcrafted in the USA. Brad Sears. But the star of the party was my waiting butcher, 8 eights, the celebrated hollow ground razor with horn scales. Like I was mentioning, the pins there are a little off on this side right here, on this pin here. But it's still shaved amazing. Gave me a baby, baby butt smooth shave, as you can see. <laughs> oh, weeper. And this razor is awesome. Has an awesome edge on it. You guys can see that mirror finish. It's beautiful. Wade and Butcher. Sheffield. <laughs> awesome razor. Gonna have great shaves with this one here. <laughs> Thanks to my brother Abraham Vila. That was my shave, guys. Very Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I got the aftershave here somewhere. <laughs> Baby butt smooth. But I, I, I don't know where it's at. I got to look for it. But 
Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it, guys. I'm going to be uh, cutting this off right here. I don't really need post shave, to tell you the truth. My ba my face is baby but smooth, and this the lather this was awesome. It hydrated my skin really well. It's very nourished and soft, my skin. I don't really think I need aftershave. But that was my shave, guys. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. God bless you all. That was an epic shave. <laughs> El Chingon says good night. El Chingon says good night. Take care. God bless. Peace out, my brothers.